Mordor is a land of fire and shadow, and is the base of operations for the Dark Lord Sauron. The soil in Mordor is ashen black and entirely fallow, save for the semi-arid region of Nurn. Yet Mordor is inhabited by a vast population of orcs, who serve the Dark Lord in his bid to dominate Middle-earth. The harsh climate and hostile geography of Mordor are extremely unfriendly to all besides the orcs, as if the land itself fights against those who attempt to trespass on Sauron's domain. The region is shielded by impassable mountains, the only western routes leading to Mordor being the Valley of Udun, which is guarded heavily by orcs garrisoning the Black Gate and the Morgul Pass, which requires one to travel through Minas Morgul, a cursed city often under Sauron's control. A higher pass through Tsirith Ungol could feasibly be attempted by small parties who, for whatever reason, wish to enter Mordor. But those who choose this way would have to cross through Shelob's lair, risking almost certain death. In the Red Book of Westmarch, the halfling author Mora Labingi writes on Mordor, quote, Upon its outward marges under the westward mountains, Mordor was a dying land, but it was not yet dead. And here things still grew, harsh, twisted, bitter, struggling for life. In the glens of the Morgai on the other side of the valley, low scrubby trees lurked and clung, coarse gray grass tussocks fought with the stones, and withered mosses crawled on them, and everywhere great writhing tangled brambles spawned. Some had long stabbing thorns, some hooked barbs that rent like knives. The sullen shriveled leaves of a past year hung on them, grating and rattling in the sad airs, but their maggot-ridden buds were only just opening. Flies, dun or gray or black, marked like orcs with a red eye-shaped blotch, buzzed and stung, and above the briar thickets clouds of hungry midges danced and reeled. End quote. Mordor's Sudan landscape may be attributed to the volcanic Mount Doom. Like the lands around it, Mount Doom is beholden to Sauron's will. It erupts in his presence and lays dormant in his absence. The Dark Lord can command the cracks of Doom, wielding their magmatic heat to forge the One Ring, and sealing this location as the single place where it can be destroyed. Together, the Ring, its master Sauron, and Mount Doom all form an unholy trinity. Sauron's body is his own, but his power was cast into the ring, and his spirit incarnate in the volcanic heart of Mount Doom. Sauron reigns over this land from the Dark Tower, Barad-dûr, though those who gaze upon it claim to witness not just a tower, but a sprawling fortress cast from dark iron. Barad-dûr serves as the greatest orcish citadel, a vast armory to craft their terrible weapons of war, a spiraling prison complex for their tortured victims, and a blazing furnace, stoking their burning desire for destruction. Mora Labingi witnessed the Dark Tower for himself, and wrote of, quote, wall upon wall, battlement upon battlement, black, immeasurably strong, mountain of iron, gate of steel, tower of adamant, end quote. Meanwhile, Labingi's companion and gardener, Banazir Galpsi, wrote that the tower was, quote, tall as hills, founded upon a mighty mountain throne above immeasurable pits, great courts and dungeons, eyeless prisons, sheer as cliffs, and the gaping gates of steel, End quote. Barad-dûr is home only to evil. It is no place which those with kindness in their hearts should ever be forced to endure. It is irredeemable, a monument to the evil which seeks to control and unmake the world, only to reshape it in shadow. 
for it is in the land of Mordor where shadows lie. Mordor is a desolated land, bent to Sauron's will, shaped by his hand, and inhabited by those who thrive in a world which light has forsaken. It is a bleak place where nature seems to revolt against the concept of life. Yet, it is impregnable, a bastion guarded by armies innumerable, all bowing in service and despair. <laughs>